Welcome back everyone. You may be experiencing some issues with your iPhone where for some reason you are just not able to activate this specific device. Now activation can mean a couple different things. One, you may be getting a pop-up that said, you know, unable to activate. You may not be able to activate your SIM card. You know, your data in a way may not working. There's a couple different meanings for this. But first of all, this pretty much all encompasses some sort of security validation. So what I would highly recommend you to do is I would go ahead and take your iPhone and I would literally just restart this device. So just go ahead and hold down the volume up button and the side button, or just hold down the side button if you have a home button iPhone and literally just select to power off. What this does, and most of you already know this, this will go ahead and make your device reset it and kind of sometimes fix those issues. I've been in so many situations where simply a restart fixes it, not only for my iPhone, but for my MacBook, iPad, all these other devices. This is literally the easiest thing you can do. Now, if that doesn't work, another unable to activate whatever type of error you may be having, another way to fix this is to check your network connections. If you're in an area that has really bad Wi-Fi or really bad data, or you have no signal emitting from your device at all, then this is pretty much the main root of the problem. So you're going to have to go ahead and make your way over to your settings app. You want to go ahead and scroll down into Wi-Fi or data or whatever other option you have and verify that you have a good connection. If you have a really bad connection, then this is obviously not going to work out. You know, you have to be able to be on a signal of some sort. If you have no internet signal, if you're on airplane mode, then you want to verify those things and pretty much come off airplane mode and be connected to a solid network. Now, if none of those things worked out, the secondary things I would probably recommend you all to do is essentially go ahead and check your iCloud credentials. This is another massive thing that I've done time and time again, and this may end up fixing it for you. So what you want to do is you want to make your way over to your settings app. You then want to go and click on your username right up here. And you just want to make sure you're logged into the same exact username and email and all that stuff that you're you know, set up before. I would probably then click on iCloud right there and just verify that you're all set and you're good to go here. If it looks like there's some anomalies or something like that, what I would recommend doing, scrolling all the way at the bottom basically on this panel and click sign out. This is another very massive thing you could do. Just literally sign up your iCloud account and literally just, you know, re-log in. This may actually end up fixing the issue for you. And as I mentioned before, this actually ends up fixing it time and time again for me as well. Now let's go and say none of these things are working, but you're maybe able to get Wi-Fi signal or whatever. I would recommend updating your iPhone. If you're not able to get Wi-Fi signal, then go through your computer. But if you are able to get signal, you want to go into your settings app just like so. You want to obviously go under into general settings, which is right here. You want to go into software update and you just want to update your iPhone to the latest version that supports it. So right now iOS 14.4.2 is available. You want to go ahead and update your iPhone to the specific version. If you're not able to get Wi-Fi signal, you want to go ahead and basically connect your iPhone to a computer and essentially update your iPhone through the computer. And that's really the main options that you have in my opinion. So if it helps you out, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button if you guys enjoy the video, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So me so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.